What people want you to talk about is level one and level two, before consciousness. Last night you talked about consciousness as an object, mm -hmm. right? That, you know, uh, a lot of people now feel they are awakening to consciousness, as you know. But as you said, you became tired of that mm -hmm. because you came to see that consciousness is an object. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of people are really curious, at least, about um, moving beyond consciousness or at least facing their sights in that direction. They would love to hear you talk about before. What would you like to know? I, I told you everything the first night. There's not that much I can say. Unless you have specific questions. Is related. You mentioned last night that nothing ever really happened. Could uh -huh. you expound on that, please? Yes. Everything that happens, happens where? As what? As an experience? So everything that happens is an experience. Experience belongs to? Me? As? Oh, as my concept of myself? Mm, and beyond that? Can you ask the question, please? Where does all experience occur? In the mind? In a sense. What's another word for mind? Consciousness, awareness. Okay, cool. So if everything happens to consciousness, where does, object. What, what happens to anything outside of consciousness or beyond consciousness? We're not aware of it, so I don't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the answer. Is so nothing don't. ever happened, you oh. see? To that level of yourself. Nothing ever occurred to you at that level. At that, at that first principle, as Regina. Yeah, my linear mind is having difficulty well, with yeah, that. Well, yes, that all happens <laughs> inside of consciousness. Ignore it. Uh -huh. It has nothing to do with you as the first principle. That's happening where? Where's confusion happening? Well, in my mind and conscious. Yeah, yeah, in the linear yeah. mind. And, and what's <laughs> happening outside of it? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> See? Nothing ever happened to you. Nothing ever applies to you. Nothing ever belongs to you. It all belongs to consciousness, which can be very liberating if you're ripe for that realization. It's not something you hold on to for the rest of your life, but it is a realization you can always return to, that nothing ever really applies to you. And it's very liberating. When you start to accumulate associations or identifications, it's very freeing to see that all accumulations and identifications happen inside of the sphere of awareness or consciousness. Outside of that, none of that is registered. Not really. In a sense, it's registered because it is all for the sake of the reflection of the one. But it's not registered as happening. Does that make sense? Making sense is not making sense anymore. Uh -huh. But that doesn't matter, you see. <laughs> I know. It's like that song from the talking head, Stop the, Making Sense. <laughs> that's the good thing about this. It doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. You just yeah. notice that it's not making sense. Where is that happening? It's happening inside of the sphere of consciousness. What's outside of it? What's beyond it? Which mm -hmm. because, doesn't necessarily because where mean would, it's nothing. Because where would that knowingness happen? Within my limited consciousness. Within consciousness, period. <laughs> any form of knowingness, any experience, even an experience of contemplating the one beyond experience, <coughs> will be shown in the reflection of the shard of your mirror of consciousness. All that is is a big fat mirror. Everythingness, consciousness, universal consciousness is one big fat mirror. And it is shattered into many little pieces of which whatever you feel as your soul consciousness is one shard of that mirror. When you contemplate anything, whether it's a uh, birth of a child or the one beyond consciousness, you will generate an experience of that contemplation inside of your mirror, inside of your field. All of that is always going to happen inside of your consciousness. You can't escape that, but you can know from that space that there is something beyond your ability to know or reflect or experience. And simply by knowing that, the mirror then becomes, in a sense, transparent. Instead of purely just reflecting what it sees, it is emptied out as well. It becomes transparent to knowing that there's something that can never be grasped by its knowing. So just sit with that question mark. What's beyond consciousness? What's beyond consciousness? Oh, maybe this is it. No, that's inside of consciousness. Oh, maybe that's it. No, that's inside of consciousness. Oh, maybe it's consciousness itself. No, that's still inside of consciousness. What's beyond that? <laughs> but you can get a glimpse of it.
you can open that funnel, so to speak. You can become transparent to it. You can start to intuit it. It's more an intuition than anything else. It doesn't have any form. It's a question mark. Circle, which is consciousness, subject, object, relationship. Mm -hmm. The whole world exists inside of it. <coughs> Stripe, which is awareness itself, subjective. No objects, just subjectivity, just the I. And beyond that is the question mark. Circle, line, question mark. That symbol contains all of existence, or refers to all of existence. Thank and within you. the circle you can draw anything, like a little puppet, and a little tree, and a little house, and a little partner, and a little doggy, a little spiral, if you, yeah, if you like spirals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Sit with the question mark. What, well, can, ever, what can ever be known? What is never an experience? What is what remains without the experiencer of experiences? The tree falling in the forest. It's like the tree falling in the forest well, when no one's it. there to hear it as they're saying. Oh, right. Right. Referring to when no one's there to... In a sense, but that's all within consciousness. But I get your analogy. Well, you can get an actual sense of it. It's not just like, oh, you can never know it, so whatever. It's like a tree falling when I'm not there. You can actually, <laughs> you can actually intuit it. It's a real thing. Source can be intuited from within consciousness. Using consciousness, you can turn your mirror to the infinite and get a reflection of the infinite. Now that will be your experience of the inexperienceable, but at least you'll know it's there. And you become more transparent to its infinity. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense, but I sort of grok what you're saying in a way. <laughs> really describe it. I said it. Thank, thank you. <laughs>